And look, Jack did revert to type on Sunday, um, managing to tuck the front, send a good result packing. I guess that's just where he's at. But we can talk about Jack because there's a lot of, is there criticism of the fact that it's looking extremely likely he's getting the Pramac ride now to ride the Yamaha? A lot of people saying, you know, why isn't Sergio Garcia getting that ride or another young rider, um, perhaps? Anything I say might come across as biased with my love for Jack, but I think it's a smart move. I mean, it does nothing. For, again, it's same with the Taka Nakagami Honda thing. It doesn't do much for you getting a guy in there that's like, I need you to learn how to ride a MotoGP bike. And you get not a lot of proper, you know, development out of that guy, at least for the first couple of tests, because he's just literally figuring it out, right, for himself. He doesn't know the difference. It's going to feel great to him no matter what. Is the best thing to do when you're this far behind, just be like, look, I need a guy who can get on and be like, yeah, it doesn't do this, or why isn't it doing that, or we need a bit more of this, because they know where the standard is at. I mean, Jack's been on the best bike. Miguel Oliveira's been on a very competitive KTM. He's been he's on the Aprilia now, whilst they're not as competitive in that team this season. It's a bike that we've known has at least a very rideable bike. It has good bones about it. You know, it's got the fundamentals right. I think that's just better off for now. I mean, look... It's different if you're thinking this guy you could get on is some sort of extreme talent that could be like, by about the third race, second race, he'll be improving our finishing position by probably four or five positions over what we'd be getting from Jack or Miguel, you know. Then it's like, yeah, definitely get him on the bike because if he's if it's like a Pedro Acosta type where he's like, he's just going to outride this bike. He's just going to be like, I'm just, I know he's dropped off a little bit now, but the early thing was, you know, he just got on it. It was like, no pressure. I don't have any previous feedback or issues to go off. I just, it feels great to me. So I'm just going to go. I don't think Sergio Garcia is necessarily going to do that for you. So is there any point? No, it's nothing wrong with putting Jack on a one-year deal and being like, look, if you're amazing, we'll re-sign you. If you're not, we're probably going to go for one of these kids. Fair enough. But you're getting a year of his experience and feedback. So for me, it's a good move, but there will be people who say you shouldn't be there and, and results like this weekend, things like this weekend where he's done it so many times in his career will be an example of that. You'll be able to refer to that. I have no argument against that. I, have, I don't have one. You know, that's a perfectly valid point. And look, there wasn't much else happened. Like nothing else really happened, mate. That, that was it. 